Before your search, think about what you need to find. Are you looking for a specific document or piece of information? Or are you researching a complex legal problem? Start with what you already know about the problem and what you don't know. If you are unfamiliar with an area of law, you will need to start with some background research. There are many good free resources that you can locate through a general web search engine like Google, and there are many useful sources available through subscription databases like Lexis and Westlaw. Or maybe the best place to find out more about your topic would be to actually look in a book. But whether you're looking for free resources, fee-based resources, or even a book, you'll need to do some sort of search to find that background information. It's important to choose the research platform that contains materials of the type and subject matter that will likely provide you with the information you seek. Many primary legal materials are available on free websites, as well as on subscription databases, but many secondary sources are protected by copyright and are often only available on one publisher's platform. For example, Goldstein on Copyright is only available on the CCH and Teleconnect platform. Nimmer on Copyright is only available on Lexis, and Patreon Copyright, copyright is only available on Westlaw. Some databases cover different years of material. Full text law reviews on Lexis and Westlaw mostly go back to the mid-1990s, while a few of the major law reviews have on Lexis and Westlaw the coverage goes back to the mid-1980s. But if you need to find older law reviews for some reason, it makes sense to search in other databases, like the Index to Legal Periodical Literature, which index articles from 1726 to 1922, or the Index to Periodical um, Literature Retrospective, which covers 1918 to 1981. For something a little more modern, but still including many law reviews articles not on Lexis or Westlaw, the Index to Legal Periodicals and Books, which began in 1980 and is still indexing law review articles today, might be the best source. And even if the information you are looking for is on a particular platform, it's important to know what is and is not covered by a global search. Running a search from the Westlaw Next main page, you'll be looking through the types of documents listed in the first two columns, but not the types of information in the far right column. To search for news, or legislative history, or international law, you must first select that type of material. Once you've decided what to look for and where to look for it, you may also have options about how to search for it. Lexis and Westlaw offer more than one type of searching, letting the researcher choose between natural language and Boolean searching. Some systems, like Bloomberg Law, require a Boolean search. Two other videos in this series will help you learn how to craft better Boolean searches and a separate video explains a little bit about how the natural search engines operate. Um, in, in any case, always, always check the help screens on whatever system you're using to find out how those search engines operate. Other platforms may provide different search research choices. Take, for example, the Boston College Library's catalog, which has 7,019, I'm sorry, seven, <clears throat> read that better, 3,719 uh, records that contain the words human rights law. But if the searcher tells the catalog, don't just look for those three words, look for those three words as an exact phrase. And don't look through the whole catalog, just look through the titles of the records. Now, We've got it down to 141 results, which is a lot easier to look through than the 3,000 whatever we had a minute ago. Another choice you may face as a searcher is whether to run a global search like this one or to, and filter your results afterward, or to pre-select specific data to search. Again, using the BC Library catalog, I'm going to restrict our search to journals and serials because I'm trying to find the magazine Science. Now, when I just look for magazines and journals that have the word science in them someplace, I've got over 6,000 records. But if I change my search to look for journals and serials that start with the word science in their title, I've given, I'm given 100, still 135, but a much easier group of records to look through and figure out which is the one I actually want. Once you become a power searcher, you'll make a lot more use of advanced search features. In Lexis, Wesla, and Bloomberg, selecting a particular type of document to search before you search gives you a greater choice of document fields or segments, as they're called in Lexis, to use in constructing the search. Notice the fields available to you in a Westlaw case search are things like party name, citation, synopsis, and in a Westlaw 
statute search, the fields have names like preliminary, caption, citation, annotation, and there's also one for text of the statute or history of the statute. Maybe historical notes. Sometimes the best way to search isn't to search at all, but just to browse. This is a table of contents of Title 17 of the U.S. Code, copyrights, from the website of the Office of the Law Revision Council, the people who actually write the U.S. Code. Their website has a search engine, but some of the terminology of the Copyright Act is so archaic, it's kind of hard to predict. Sometimes it's just easier to find the sections you need by scanning the table of contents. Many treatises have scannable tables of contents as well. This is the table of contents to Nemer on copyrights on Lexis. You can search the table of contents, scan the table of contents, or search the full text of the treatise. Your choice. Other times, it may make sense to browse an index than to run a word search. Again, if you can't think of exactly what word to look for or the form the word might take, it might make more sense to scan through a listing. Um, this is the USDA Browsable Index on Westlaw, and again, you can search it or browse it. And um, indexes of various types often provide superior access to information because they actually involve the intercession of human intelligence, which helps the researcher in finding things all about a subject as opposed to just the casual mentions that come through a word um, search. But if you're going to do a search, you need to check your system and see what, how it's going to happen. Because once you've decided what you're looking for and where you're looking for it, you have to think up words to describe it. What are the key concepts? Usually, it's good to start broadly with key concepts and terms. Um, as I mentioned, not every search system treats the same words, words the same. Some, uh, you'll, some actually add their own uh, automatic plurals. Lexis and Westlaw do that. Bloomberg has a checkbox on the search screen that you can check that, that will include variant forms of a word. Uh, on Lexis and Westlaw, you truncate terms to do that in a, in a Boolean search. Um, Westlaw Natural Language will do that for you automatically. And sometimes you want to add extra search terms using a thesaurus. Uh, Lexis and Westlaw have thesauri, as does uh, this is the help screen from the source on CCH and Teleconnect, um, and explains how you can ask, you can use or not use the automatic thesaurus in your searches. Even though the relevancy ranking search engines on Lexis Westlaw do a very good job of ordering results, don't expect them to be calibrated to the specific research task you're doing at the moment. Be sure to look at the at a number of your search results, not just the top hits, and look at them critically. The search engine may have brought you something to the the search engine may have brought something to the top because of the frequency of the use of your search terms and still it might not be the most relevant thing to your research problem. You might find it useful to order your results differently if the search engine provides that capability. In class exercises, we'll sometimes have you locate a particular known document to help you learn about how a search engine operates. But in real research, don't expect to find another case that exactly matches your fact pattern or a single secondary source that will teach you all you need to know about a particular subject. Analyze your issues and look for sources that fit with one or more aspects of the particulars of your situation. The key is to think critically about your problem. Choose appropriate resources to research the issue and then be a critical consumer of whatever sources you choose to use. The best tactic is often to combine a variety of methods with a variety of resources to minimize the chance that you will miss something important and maximize your research results.